perk of having this bedroom window that overlooks my animals because I can <laughs> I can watch while my big boys go out and feed the babies <laughs> good job boys <laughs> Nice. What you doing, Liam? I'm just bouncing on logs. Oh. What have you done in the garden today? Um, I have been dirt digging in the mulch and putting the, the bark that I found as a walkway. Nice. So we're getting this mulch all raked out. Smoothing it, filling in the low spots with the high spots so that it'll be a nice workable space. Also kind of working on some side missions as we go. This area here, I've been trying to clear a path cut to cut through since we moved in here. And it goes. So now I've cleared more stuff and I can actually walk all the way through without getting my head caught on briars. But I do have to be careful where I step. So. Probably going to dig up this helia more, Latin rose, and probably take this out, probably chop this tree the rest of the way down, and that will give us a path through to our utility area. So this is the area where we keep our tractor implements, um, a lot of times the tractor is here, our supplies for building stuff with. We're also going to have all of our lumber stacked over here once we get it cleaned up from the spot up there. And then we'll have pawpaw and elderberry plantings all along this area at the edge of the light. And it'll be pretty cool. We usually just call this our pawpaw area, even though it's kind of more of a turning into more of a utility area. This is just a good spot on the property to put stuff that's not as sightly. So hiding it behind the trees and in between the trees so that neighbors don't have to look at it you know and we don't have to look at it when we're in the yard so just trying to get things a little more tidy on the homestead and do some spring cleaning what you got there i have a beautiful purple or pink flower that's nice these are neat because they bloom in the winter does it smell good for some reason, I thought they didn't smell good. It smells like nothing. Oh, yeah, so it's not very fragrant. I spent a good part of the morning pulling any invasives out of my thornless blackberry patch. You see, I got two rows that go down, and there's one row of strawberries in the front, but this tree line was containing a ton of invasives, so they were growing along the ground through it. So we really do need to get some mulch over here too. This is a pile of stuff that I pulled out. So it's blackberry, poison ivy, honeysuckle, green briar, and some of these um, invasive uh, hibiscus, the Althea rose hibiscus and this is a privet here that i've wanted to take out because i don't like any privet on my property but it is kind of a nice 
nice screen wall right here between the properties. So I've been hesitant to do that. Wow, you guys got a lot of work. Something you gonna get it all done? Just gotta chip away at it. Uh, 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 uh. Where'd Odin go? He's right there. Ooh. Playing with toys. Ooh. Ooh. Something else we've talked about doing over in this area is some mushroom logs and do some shiitake and oyster production out here and see how that goes. We will probably try to get that done at some point, but it's not super high on the priority list. So it's just one of those things that eventually we'd like to do. Liam has been working really hard over here gathering rocks to make a nice border for our garden edge for our little shade garden and our path good work i did dig up two big old helium board so i might have to try to sell those on facebook or something the garden is definitely getting more level slowly but surely we are making progress ryan has been working hard all day and the chickens are getting spoiled by a little baby who keeps giving them quail food. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dan, are you feeding chickens? Mm -hmm. All right, that's enough. No more, okay? <laughs> you like taking care of those chickens, don't you? You're a good farmer. <laughs> you can tell that it's been getting hotter and hotter throughout the day. First, the jacket, hat, and gloves came off. And then, the long sleeve shirt. How's it going? Good. You getting it all smoothed out? Yeah. Looking good, boys. Good hard workers.